Israeli ke hok so paye te kala balo balo makhan tene tene mayana tene mayana impanyo hey That's right, this is how it should be. Maya Mopan at 49. And yes, folks, culture is alive in the beautiful village of Mayamopan in the Sun Creek District. Mayamopan, for your information, is right behind Georgetown Village. So make your way here if you are near Bella Vista, Red Bank, uh, San Roman, Santa Rosa, Placencia, Mango Creek, Trial, Bladen. Make your way over to Mayamopan. Uh, come and enjoy culture. If you are near Hopkins, we are inviting our Garifuna brothers, our Creole brothers, everyone, Belizeans, to come and experience culture here in Maya Mopan. Maya Mopan Day 2023. To own a lebe, the age of Samala and Maya H. Komonil means today for us, tomorrow for you, working together. Yes, folks, okay, yes, no, that, no. Is the, uh, that is the Maya Mopan um, um, delegation um, here representing in Belize. Uh, you talk English? Espanol, sí.
Buenos, buenos días. Uh, bienvenido, uh, bienvenido a Belice. Uh, sabemos que usted es Mayamopan y eres de Petén. Uh, cuéntanos cómo es su experiencia uh, intercambiar con la gente Mopan aquí en Belice. Eh, muy buenos días o buenas tardes. Para nosotros como sanuiseños es un honor estar acá compartiendo, interactuando con la cultura Mopan que son acá. Pues eh, para nosotros es algo nuevo venir acá y estar compartiendo es un honor y un gusto como les decía y pues reciban un cordial saludo desde San Luis Petén que es de donde nosotros venimos la puerta de entrada al mundo maya como normalmente se lo conoce yo sé esto la calesh bona kemesh abilicón y chilam manzat anada yo me hecho el tolal botiglia hasta esto una invitación de cada con oye catibila bicleja no culi cheche es un cabilesh lículi no no nos salió sol, botic te es tan esa botica que es para me llega da, o sea es tan nil, ti matus matus a ti la tan más y que no culi la ti tat uch ven un puta jotón. Gracias por compartir con nosotros. Sabemos que el pueblo uh, Mopan uh, Maya uh, viven también en San Luis Petén y por toda esa región. Cuéntanos cuáles son las costumbres que tenemos en común uh, aquí en Belice, igual como en Guatemala. Eh, sería el idioma Mopan el, pues, la marimba no sé si son los mismos sones que se acostumbra a tocar eh, pero sí creo que uno de los, de los principales sería el idioma que compartimos ambos y también los costumbres que todavía es, estamos siguiendo haciendo um, en San Luis nosotros estamos acostumbrados a celebrar lo que es el taquimche que se le llama el tradicional tallón encebado que se acostumbra a buscar entre la montaña por nuestros abuelos se acostumbra a pasear durante, durante todo el día en el pueblo, luego se sube a lo que le decimos nosotros es ciclo um, en donde el 25 se sube de pie y es el tradicional tallo ritual en cebado en donde nuestra reina Utopil Kajmopan quien es la, que, la única mujer que anda eh, incensando el tallo ritual con los ancianos y pues ojalá que ustedes nos acompañen a ver este, este evento que nosotros pues como San Luiseños estamos este, realizando Realizando año con año, a modo que no se pierdan nuestras costumbres ni nuestras tradiciones. Muchas gracias uh, por compartir con nosotros. Uh, también uh, estamos uh, ahorita. Uh, observando que hay que va a ser un baile con los ancianos so thank you very much uh, our lovely friend here from Petén just shared with us that the Mopan um, culture is alive as well in San Luis Petén and so she was able to share with us that the traditions, the dance continues to be the same as in Guatemala as in Belize so right now we're going to go to the front stage where we are witnessing an activity that is going on, I believe that the it's a dancing competition Dancing and uh, no, the, the best dress, best dress competition, best dress competition. So we see we're, we're observing that there is five, five lovely participants. We're still calling if you're wearing your Maya Mopan outfit, kindly come up front. I see no young lady. Make a thing with it. Lah, nah, no chopada. Lah, kitch pano. Bueno, tu makin is. It's Mopan Maya. We're still calling on you. I give on the two minutes. Pitch call over here. All right, so now the chairman Koya, so he uh, he can give away. See cash price. I don't know how much. Well you give me some cash. I have cash with me right here. Okay, but I'm still calling two more minutes before we close that window to participate. I Best dress competition, folks, competition. happening now. You all will be the judge. Nobody, I can't say she won't win, or that this or might not she won't win. You all will be the judge. Who, whosoever get the most noise, will win. So right now, first place. Oh my goodness! See, I, I, this one, yes, I see fifty, fifty dollars. Okay. Bueno, it tell um the our. Sisters from um, San Luis, they will be the judge in Chesh Watakesha Villa. What is the tone? BQ no Kulil. 
tishupia shinti ya shiti wishi mopanil biki ka tiyano o o o tiwa la koko chu o kuniko o nok le kabea belika te ka adhiti teje so we're still calling one more minute one more minute before we close our window to participate I see some more ka grinding stone coming because we'll have corn grinding caldo eating competition line up next while we hit you Buka belaka hawa ah ah a yellow itch to patch a hanal caldo. Yes, folks, this is the best dressed competition. Come Maya, on, man, I feel disappointed. Woman now. dressing Where competition. So they will be they will be judged based on how they are presenting their we traditional outfit. Come on. Traditional if outfit. So outfit, we're observing now that there is five participants. Yana five pick. participants who are yana participating yana. in this competition. Okay, so fifty dollars cash price so liable in the Udawa, Shana San Luisil. Kono ye? Kona wode ton biki? Biki? Unako ishmopan maya chup. Kon? Bueno. Kono get ready. So she will explain to us. Solo ti tono pexel biki ti. Tama wili ke yeshe o kamisa hoda hi biki o kich panel ti 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 unako ti wet ti ti wet shopil pas. Yes, folks. So the invited guests from um, Louis Patten or my Mopan sisters from that community, from that country, are here visiting, and they are the judge for this uh, dressing competition, which is the Mopan Maya Woman Dressing Competition, best dress competition. <laughs> Le kadati nok kusket ete ete la teche e bishwala ki wili ke teche wala ke shate ka chal mina chal chal janu chal e utup u kapili utup mopan e kato ato no bueno lebe chekwa one, two, one, two. Yeah. All right. So now I need your cooperation. You all will be the judge. So I'm calling. Okay, folks. So we are witnessing there is one elderly lady well, that no, is Bishop participating in this competition. So I'm curious to see who will be winning this best dress competition. We're live all the way from Maya Mopan in the Sun Creek District. <laughs> I don't hear Puru Kitchpan Paloma etel etel o o o etel bisho le asamata. Atina chini pato puru puru pato Kitchpan etel ati iwits ina da hi Kitchpan bisho o o patch o patcha kana lega ti he. Pues boy no potek alibili makshaka kabain jaja ish magi kal. I want you all. Magi Chiak, okay? I want you all to just say yeah, whatever, make some noise for Miss Maya Chiak. If you think she is a real original Mopan Maya woman, if you vote for her, I'll count to three and you make some noise for her. Because it, her fate is depending on you all to win $50 first prize, okay? Yes, folks, we, uh, so the now, competition one, is very interesting. Two, we have five three. lovely Will it participants. Be Miss Maggie Chiak. Ah, should we go and come again? Because we are on a song week, man. Our own no one support she. Let's do it again. One. Will it be Miss Maggie 
Check. All right, good. Now, makak abain cese. Awit sini esok bahil mo. Kau suka tu loss oye. Makku cinta liat cek kot anti. Boleh nak lihat ni? Will it be Miss Ophelia Chiak? Make some noise for Miss Ophelia Chiak. Uh, and I think we were you the help she. <laughs> we were here the people them. Okay. Will it be Miss Ophelia Chiak? <laughs> All right. All right. Makakabain chese. Will it be Miss Angela Tech? Yay! Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, makakabana team? Show? Will it be Miss Catalina Show? Yay! Oh my goodness. I think we're fine. Makakabain chese? That is sacred here because we can't take that silly. Never make a thing an arrow cutan. Will it be Miss Romelia Wook? Yeah. Put your call like you should say again, did you? Yeah. Yeah. To hear your work, hear your work, my young man. All right, now that's the kind of support I want. All right, let's go again. Will it be Miss Romelia Wook? Yeah. Will it be Catalina Shaw? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I think we have a winner, folks. This uh, Will it be Angela Miss Tech? Catalina Shaw uh, seems to be gaining the crowd support so no. she is more than likely going to be the winner for this Will best be dress competition Jack? remember we got second prize too you know we don't i don't i think we don't find first prize will it be maggie chiak yeah <laughs> 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 Okay, Tina Chin, Leka Uchuganara, so thank you all very much. So she automatically win for a surprise. So see, $50. Okay, Leka Heda Teche. Teche Heda Hoi. Yeah, go to Nantes. And Miss Catalina Shu goes with the first prize, folks, for the best dress competition here. Uh, as we celebrate Maya Mopande 2023, to own a Samala. Maya H. Kamonil means today for us, tomorrow for you working together. This lovely cultural event continues here in beautiful Mayamopan. Um, so we are celebrating Mayamopan at 49 here in the Sand Creek District. Maggie Chiak! Yeah! Yeah! Ophelia Chiak! Yeah! Angela! Yeah. Miss! <laughs> Terrible with names. Romelia Wook! Yeah! I think we got a tie. We have a tie with Miss Angela and with Miss Romelia. Make we go again. True? Be kill to Yamo. Best dress competition, folks, is still on. We still the, the crowd is still undecided as uh, who should be taking the second place and third place. But definitely, all of these women deserve to take a prize home for being able to put, to come out here and showcase their traditional outfit and be proud Maya women. Will it be Miss? Romelia Wook! Yeah. Will it be Miss Angela? Yeah. Ophelia! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Un tulik makatong ya watu. All right, bueno. So now we will go again. Leko da katulo mo. Bueno. Yes, folks. Share this live. Share this live, and we continue here in Miami Pan. Miss Angela mo. Bueno. The judge says she agree. It will be Miss Angela, so she win. I don't know. Patalecho de shock. Miguel Bon. Seal a hoons a bit and every tip she been at all in she win $30. Congratulations to Miss Angela. That's the first set of competition. You know what we are doing next is the caldo eating competition. Please, no cost here, sir. Are you a town now? Yeah, all right, kid. Why not? A label caldo eating competition. Tano pitch me a caldo label. Maka ati ko, ati belti hanal ma libra libra chena belti hanal ma bakak ati sa kalo ma bakak tosho sa hala hantek. Kalo an what, Mr. Tosh? Yes, folks. The uh, best dress competition has concluded. We are bringing you coverage here in beautiful village of Mayamopan in the Stan Creek district. Uh, culture is alive. We have to say thank you to the leaders for inviting us to be a part of this of the, a part of this event. Next activity is going to be the caldo eating competition. I want to big up my friend respect, Mr. Peck Lencho. Big up yourself, my brother. I see you. I see you earlier. Pass the foot to the. So, call the eating competition will be next, folks. In the meantime, We're here. Harp, harp, marimba. Harp. Harp. Harp, harp, bueno. Ali Abilin's Atesha. So, Sona Sakana. Culture is indeed alive, folks, here in Maimopan. You can still make your way out here. If you are still uh, deciding and making up your mind, come and enjoy some nice traditional food. And of course, the people, the people are so lovely here in beautiful Maya Mopan. So yes, and the table right now is being set up for the caldo eating competition. Folks, the activities here in Mayamopan is very, very interesting. And so yes, it's, it's all about culture, uh, celebrating Mayamopan Day. To own a lebe, to age as a hitch commonil. Yes, so. Right. So. dance at this moment.
Culture is alive, Aurelio. We're here live on my culture One, page. Thank you very much, first of all, for covering um, what we call culture. Exactly. Maya culture, whether it be Kekchi Maya, Kekchi Maya, no Kekchi, Mopan, Mopan Yucatec. Yucatec, whatever. At least the three Maya people that we have here in our lovely country, Belize. But now, particularly, we are celebrating Maya Mopan, Maya Mopan Day. To honor Lebe, Te Esha Samala, Meyahish Komanil. It means, it, means it, means it means today for us, today for, for, for me, yeah. tomorrow for you, yeah. working together. together. You know, yeah. that is, and I think today that's also the collective efforts of working together as a people in a, in a community. And that is Fahina one. I mean, the you know, it, of the people, yeah. collectiveness of the people. And that is what makes us so unique because when I want to build my house, I go ask you one, I want you to help me build my house and that, that, that is the traditional process, the traditional way. The collectiveness, the collectiveness of the people. Very much. And uh, everybody come together and they work, you know, and, and these we, work, we work together and we eat together. We Correct. celebrate, we celebrate after my long touch you and get your caldo. All right. And, uh, and that is what is happening right here in, in, in Miami Pan. You know, if you're watching this, you know, um, we, we should never be ashamed of who we are as Maya people. Where if you're a Mopan Maya, you're a Kekchi Maya, take pride. You're a Yucatec. In, in, you're a Yucatec. Take pride in who you are. Dance your culture. Talk your language. L talk your language most of all. Eat your ash ik. Eat your ik. <laughs> Eat your food. The, 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 the food that we import out there, that's what they get when people sick. Right. But you know, you can't get sick to eat our rich hot plate of caldo. Right. You know, and that's what we do right talking now. Talking about caldo, I see caldo behind yeah, the MRA. What, what we, we will facilitate up next is the caldo eating competition. And they will win $50 cash prize. Can't go wrong, right? You know? I might just jump in the competition. I'm hungry right now. Yeah. Me too, boy. <laughs> right? But, but then I think they disqualify me automatically. Six can tortilla and a bowl of, um, of uh, caldo. And then one teaspoon of... Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Grind pepper. So this should be interesting. <laughs> right? So we are asked that we are see. The thing is, you know, you, you know how to spill, you know, you know how to spill nothing. And then after that you want to eat your you want to drink your, your your cacao drink. You know, everything is 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 our way of life. You know, this is what we eat at home, you know, and that is what we're celebrating, showcasing the people here. We have the minister, we have people from Dangriga, we have people from Belmopan, we have people from Cayo, all over. And from Toledo, San Jose. San Jose. Toledo, you know, the harp band. I know that there is a bus all the way from San Jose here. San Jose too. San Jose, you know? Toledo. Toledo, you know, and, and that is, it's beautiful. Culture is alive. You know, we should celebrate Maya Day every day. Every day. And you know, um, Arelo, what is important as well is to encourage the younger generation to get involved, to be able to talk their language, um, be able to know how to dance our marimba, our harp, so that wherever you go, I keep telling young people, whether you're in China, Taiwan, you're in, you're in Russia, you're in Guatemala, you're anywhere. If you're Maya, you're Maya. You can't change that. You can't change that. That's, that's right. And I always tell that everywhere. One thing with me, if I did at a terminal, if I did at work, I want to speak my Maya. But a lot of people are, are ashamed to speak it. You think the Chinese are ashamed to, the to, to talk Chinese. the language? No man, they want to wrap their thing in front of you. And why we can't do that? Come on, people. So I want to encourage everybody, you know, I'm so happy to, to be here. And, and we have our 
visitors from um, San Luis Peten, you know, the, the Maya, the Mopan Maya people from there. And they're having fun, they're dancing right now. See, look at look at my Nachin. Oh my goodness, you know, they, this is this is who we are, right. you know, celebration. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Aurelio. Okay, we're gonna uh, come back to you shortly because the Caldo Eating Competition is about to start. Dance is, is here, it is happening. And so, folks, we will take a break at this point in time. Uh, we're just gonna leave you with a, a snippet of the dance going on. And so, Mayambo Pandit, it's to own a to Asia Samala, Maya. Each commonel, it means today for me or today for us, tomorrow for you working together, my Maya Mopan at 49. So the Caldo eating, Caldo eating competition is coming to you shortly. Bueno, right now, as we get ready, as we get ready to do the, the Caldo eating competition, I want to find people who will want to participate, okay? They will eat six stand tortilla, one bowl of caldo, one bowl of caldo, and one teaspoon of pepper, grind pepper in the caldo. Okay? And I want participants, come on. But first, what we want to do right now, I'm inviting everybody, our, our people, this is a special request from our guests from um, San Luis Petén. They're calling everybody to come and dance one music with all of them, okay? So boy, pick me, everybody in Chino, no, come dance. I go and dance too. Our visitors there under the food, please join us. Let us all dance. This is truly Kooshti Okot Tosha Hok. All right, folks, we're inviting the entire community to come out and dance. And so our lovely guests here from San Luis Petén, um, they're going to lead this dance. Uh, estamos agradecidos con nuestras visitantes de San Luis Petén. Están aquí nuestras hermanas Maya Mopan de San Luis. Bienvenidas, gracias por compartir la cultura con nosotros. Gracias igual a ustedes. Agradecemos por la invitación que nos han hecho. Y ojalá que no sea la primera vez y ni la última vez. Agradecido nuevamente. Muchas gracias. Thank you, folks. So the music is on. Feel free to come and dance. We're right here and so we're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. a lot of thing going on here there will be also a uh, greasy pig um, catching competition uh, we want to um, talk to our friends here and they are also enjoying this lovely cultural uh, um, activity Megan we're back with you hello let's talk a little bit about the project again okay. I know that that is that is still something that I'm curious about sure. Alabama what is Alabama again Alabama, so is an ancestral town site from that was occupied about 700 to 900 AD, and it's called Alabama not because that's the ancient name, 
but because there was a banana plantation in that same location in the 1950s and 60s, as Mr. Uh, Teul told us about earlier. And I know that activities there, uh, excavation is still ongoing, right? Yes, yeah. We're just finishing the final year of our current grant, but we'll be applying for the next grant to keep coming back. Once again, can you share about what are the prelim preliminary, preliminary information you know about this site? Sure. The big, the big thing was confirming that this was in, in fact a place where ancestral Maya peoples were living from about 700 to 900 AD. It's a, a small town site, so we don't know if there was a king or queen yet, uh, but there were definitely wealthy families, uh, well-to-do families living there. We also have recently found out that there were people there even earlier, but possibly had to leave because of a massive hurricane and flooding events. And so that's something a bit different. We're showing the same problems we deal with today in Stan Creek District, also the ancestral Mayas were dealing with in the past. Okay, well, we look forward to maybe visit that site um, before we leave. Um, so let's look forward to that. And of course, we want to thank you for, um, you know, um, supporting us in, you know, being able to bring coverage of this wonderful event, Maya Mopan Day. Maya Mopan, do you feel like you can move in now? Are you ready to call yourself, you're a Maya Mopanese? You know, if they want me to come, I would definitely love to live here. <laughs> yeah, it's a great community. Everyone is very, very friendly and we've enjoyed be working here since 2014. It's been really great. Thank you very much, Megan. Folks, we're here live at the celebration of Maya Mopan Day. Maya Mopan at 49. And so tomorrow for, for, for us, tomorrow, for, what is the t under the team? Sorry, let me repeat that today for us tomorrow for you working together. That is what it translates to. So, we're witnessing right now that the um, color eating competition will be taking place shortly. So, we'll take a break and then we'll come back to you.